To start coloring our character, we must create the color palette. To create a color palette, we go to the color view and click on the plus. If we want to change the name, we double click on the name. We will call this color body since it will be the color of the body parts of our character. We choose the color by double clicking on the color, and by clicking here, we can choose the desired color. Here I will choose a beige color for whip. We use the paint bucket and select the body layer. We select the right leg layer and apply the color, then the left. Now I will paint the right ear. If we try to paint the right ear, we realize that we cannot paint it because it has an open line. To close that line, we will have to choose the stroke tool. The stroke tool is an invisible line that allows us to close lines. When we draw the line with stroke, a message appears saying that the line will not be visible unless we activate the show strokes option. I click on OK. We can activate it with the shortcut D. We can also use D to deactivate it. Once visible, we can see that the line has been closed. We click on the paint bucket, paint, and do the same with the left ear of our character. We go to the hair layers and do the same. We will notice that we must move the hair layers and place them behind the ears. We select the three layers and drag them under the ears in our timeline. We must also adjust the ends of the lines to hide the visible line of the head. To select a piece, we can click on the layer or use this tool. By clicking on a piece, it automatically selects the layer. I will adjust this line a bit to connect it with the ear. We must make sure that there are no gaps in our drawing, and we must fill it in. If we see something like this, we use the paint bucket. Now we select the arms. With the stroke, we create a line and paint. We create a new color and name it ribbon. And we choose a dark gray. We select the ribbon layer and color it. We must make sure it is always completely painted. Now we use white for the eyes. For the iris, we use the same color as the line. Finally, we will create a palette for the nose. We have our character color now. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the other videos to learn more about animation.